Hey all my YouTube friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. It is Tuesday, which means it's a WIP and chat day. WIP stands for Wake in Progress, in case you didn't know it, and chat. Well, that means I'm going to chat your ears off for a while. <clears throat> if you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And uh, if you want to ding the bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video. Um, I do mostly diamond painting content, but I do tell you a whole lot about my life. Um, and if you're back, hi friends, welcome back. Um, so we're going to do a weapon chat, which for me is this, um, diamond painting. And I just, you know, kitted this up the other night and I began this yesterday this is harry potter the boy that lived no who lived i'm sorry the boy who lived this is it i always start from the top and then when i'm a few rows down i turn it upside down again that's just how i work um i began where am i i began over there but in case for me to get the, the the square into the camera, I need to move it over a little. So yeah, this is The Boy Who Lived. It is a square kit. It is 56 centimeters by 79 centimeters or 22 by 31 inches. So yeah, it is a big bit darker than I usually want my diamond paintings to be but um yeah I love the I love the image so that is it so what we're gonna work with here today is I have my new enablers outpost pen I have a diamond art club single placer tip with a glue dot I use these glue dots I bought them from a shop in the UK and they work perfectly. Then I have the new three place from Diamond Art Club. I need to learn it. It's a steep learning curve for me. In it, I have my own homemade scented putty. This is the Coke scent. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Anyway. <laughs> I also have my Bella Art de Nicole tray, still the little one. For some reason, I really, really love this small size. And then I have my tweezers, the ombre tweezer from Diamond Art Club, and the pointy one from AliExpress. I do have this cutie little, I don't know, is it an ashtray or something? It came from my mother-in-law's house. It's a boy, and I use this for my trash drills. And I am working out of the Elizabeth Ward container trays. This is the ones that I prefer. I have a whole bunch of extra baggies over there, so I prefer just one bag at a time. Oh, and I have this little one. It's a cover minder that I got from Enablers Outpost. And isn't this just perfect? mother of cats i have four cats in case you're new here so yeah this is very very appropriate and it's just gonna hang out because i don't need um, a cover minder since i work with um release paper i've never learned the whole washi tape sectioning no i never learned that <laughs> so let's let's get into it how are you doing today? Please let me know down in the comment field how you're doing. And if you're working on something like knitting, crocheting, cross stitching, um, yeah, you can take a, you, you could be walking, you could do grocery shopping or driving your car while listening to me. I, I would love to know what you're doing. So, yeah. I. <laughs> This is the thing. I usually do um, single placing when I'm not trying to learn how to... Hang on, I'm going to move this just a little. I got it 
a little far over. I need it to be there. About there. That's fine. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm doing so good today. Can't you see? I'm I'm just perfect. Perfectly imperfect. That's that's me. Perfectly imperfect. <laughs> um, I prefer single placing and I love to do the... Um, what's it called again? The, the check... God, the name is gone. Check pattern, check... It's another name. But I love doing that if I have a... A bit of a color blocking. In case you don't know what color blocking is, color blocking is like this. You have a big section of the same color. And then we also have um oh god, confetti. That is down here when where we have a lot of different colors in a smaller section. So we have to change the color in our tray a little more often. Checkboarding, that's the name of it. Darn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got to bed a little late yesterday. But I'll, yeah, why don't we just get into that right now? So, David is, is, um, sick today. Well, he called in sick today because yesterday on his way to work, he slipped, he fell on on his scooter on the way to work um, we think that the road might have been slippery with some you know tire rem remnants or some oil or something he skidded out and um, he he isn't badly hurt he hurt his knee and because he works in the oil business um, he's a truck driver and he delivers oil and um, well fuel and gasoline so his clothes is fireproof um which but which really means that it isn't easy to you know if you fall it won't tear well the outer layer teared and made a hole in his pants but the inner layer basically gave him a burn on his knees and then because he decided to to drive on going to work, his pants, you know, kind of rubbed on that knee scrape he, he got from the accident. So when he came home, he basically had a very big burn around his knee. And of course, it's the same knee that he hurt um, a few months ago on, on a, on a uh, bike ride trip with some of his friends. So apparently he has something with hurting his um, right knee. So he called in sick today just to give it a little rest um, because it is oozing a little and it's swelling when he's on his legs, when he's standing up. So he's at home and yeah, <laughs> he is in a... TV room watching well right now he's watching Once Upon a Time in Hollywood but it has to be over soon um, so yeah that's that was his day yesterday I feel sorry for him because yeah I always I hate when he when he's hurt I just want to you know cuddle him and make sure everything is fine and he absolutely hates it <laughs> i'm kind of like a, a chicken mom you know mother hen trying to to figure out how to f make him feel good and yeah <laughs> the funny thing is he would he would do the same you know, for me, he does the same for me when I have my bad days. But it's kind of like the other way around is he, he wants to be big and tough. Well, he is big and tough. He 
He didn't say a peep last night when I needed to clean that that burn, and I knew it hurt. I could see it, but he didn't say a peep. So uh, yeah, I felt I felt so bad for hurting him, but I knew it had to be done. Just to make sure that you know there wasn't any dirt or whatever in in that burn. But I hate doing that. It was it was the same when he when he had that biking accident. I had to clean that one too. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't mind cleaning wounds at all. I mean, I, I I don't have an issue with blood or gore or whatever. I just hate that it hurts him. I don't know. I'm not very good at at seeing my my husband in pain. So yeah, other than that, yesterday was Rosa Day. We were um, at gymnastics at the end of the day. And if you are Facebook friends with me, I have a little video on my Facebook of her doing some of the gymnastics. She was so good and fearless. So yesterday it was kind of like, let's try to keep the adults out of the... 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 Uh, the place that they're doing their gym in, gymnastics. And me, and I think it was a grandparent, and then we had a girl who had her siblings with her. We were kind of like the only ones who understood the assignment. And Rosa was so funny when we got there. She was like, Auntie, you stay here. I go in alone. <laughs> If you're like, okay, auntie, stay right here. If you need me and if you get thirsty, anything, just come out. Okay, auntie. And then she went. Um, she did fall at some point and hurt her. I don't, I'm not sure if it was her leg or foot. And I could hear her. I know her crying. So um, I was up on my feet and on the way when one of the other parents there is a little girl in a pink skirt. She says, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. And so I brought her out. And she was, you know, sitting with me and crying a little. And I got her something to drink. And then she was ready again. And I asked her, do you want me to to come in with you? And she's like, no, I'm okay. Stay. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I got the little video and... I sent it to my brother and my, well, Rosa's mom. I don't, is she still my sister-in-law? I don't know. She's Rosa's mom and I love her a lot. She means a lot to me as well. So my, my ex-sister-in-law, I don't know what to call her. Anyway, I sent it to them and then later I posted it on my Facebook, you know, so that the rest of the... The family could see it, and I do have a lot of friends who, who, who you know, follow along in her life, and I knew that they would love to see her as well. So yeah, she was so tired when we drove home. She didn't sleep um, in at her daycare. Usually, my my brother wants her to sleep. But yesterday she was just resting for about half an hour. Then she came out on her own and said, I want to play. Um, my brother is a little annoyed with it because he knows that she needs to sleep at least for an hour. And then if she doesn't, she comes home and she's so tired. But she doesn't want to sleep because she's overly tired. But she told me that she was tired, and I asked her, so you just want to go home and eat and then go to bed? And she was like, yes, auntie, I just want to go to bed. So hopefully my brother didn't have any big issues with her yesterday. So yeah. But that was yesterday. Other than that, we were buying groceries. We, are, we usually do that Monday 
if not on Sunday. It, it depends on on what we're doing on Sundays. Um, so yeah, what else? We filmed on last Tuesday. So let's let's go back. I don't think anything else happened on Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, I did join on Tuesday late night for me around mid. Well, at midnight, I joined Elizabeth and Edward in Ablis Outpost. I joined their live, and um, yeah, that was that was good as always. Um, and I had shown off my finished. Um, I finished the amethyst, the mukha panel. I finished that one. Was that Tuesday? I think it, I finished it Tuesday or Monday. No, I finished it Monday night. And um, I didn't show it off until Tuesday morning because it was so dark. So yeah, we. they mentioned that I had finished it and that it was beautiful and it is beautiful. I have it on my Instagram if you want to see it. I have both my Facebook and my Instagram down below in the in the description. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that was Tuesday. What did I do Wednesday? Did I do anything Wednesday? I can't remember right now. Maybe I need to do some some notes. Maybe I have to start doing notes because I can't remember what I'm doing. Uh, no. But Thursday was my 44th birthday. Yay me. I am now 44 years old. I... We don't do a whole lot on our birthdays, David and I. We don't do a lot of gifts because we're kind of like, if you want anything, buy it. Instead of me basically giving you money to buy something, it's so much easier to just, you know, get some, some quality time together and then just, you know, if you need anything, find it and buy it. I did get a Diamond Art Club gift card from my sister-in-law, which I promptly went in and bought a diamond painting when I got the, um, the, um, usually from Diamond Art Club on your birthday, you get a coupon code for 20% off. So when I got that one in the mail, I flew in Diamond Art Club's website and I bought Flotilla because I have loved that one since it was released. I just didn't get it because I was like, that I will get that one on a, you know, at a special occasion. And I mean, my birthday is a special occasion, right? So I bought that one and um, I was out shopping because I was having my knitting club come over on, you know, Thursday evening on my birthday. It's kind of like a tradition that if my birthday is on a weeknight and everybody is able to, to, to come that day, to join me here that day, they will come on my birthday. Next year it'll be a Saturday, so no. <laughs> but I really love, you know, I like the idea of me having some company on my birthday. So, uh, yeah, I was out shopping for that. I needed some, some baked goods from a bakery, and then I needed to get some fruit and stuff, and I needed to buy a few things for me to uh, bake a cake. I, I wanted to bake a rhubarb cake and I did. So I was making the dough and for some reason it looked 
like pancake dough, which isn't supposed to, it, it wasn't supposed to look like that. So I tried again, but I put in less milk and lo and behold, the dough was perfect. I don't get it. I mean, the, the woman who had made the, the, the recipe, um, had lots of you know on her on her web page a lot of people had made the comments about how thin it was and how the rhubarb because of that thin dough flowed to the bottom of the cake well sank to the bottom of the cake really and the woman that made the recipe was very you know i don't understand this i don't have any issues and could your oven maybe be too new? And I'm like, how can your oven have anything to do with the dough? I mean, hello. Anyway, so it brought it, it took away some time for me because I had to make that dough twice. But um, yeah, put it in the oven. I ran around getting everything ready before the ladies arrived. And, yeah, we had a great evening. I got a butterfly bush from some of the women, um, which is actually good because we've, we have been considering removing the, the other, uh, well, one of our butterfly bushes. We have a dark purple, and the one I got was dark purple in front of our bedroom window and it hasn't been taken care of probably probably from the former owner of the house so we have been talking about you know getting it replaced with a new one so now we have a new one and we can replace that one so that's good i also have a pink butterfly bush that we got from, well, we have, that we got from my mother's sister last year, and it's so beautiful. It's kind of confusing for me to say auntie, you know, because here in Denmark we have a, a special word for, for, you know, your mother's sister and your father's sister, and an aunt is you know, your brothers, oh, well, well, if, if David and I, for instance, had kids, then Rosa's mom would be their aunt because she isn't blood related. Does that make sense? And my, my brother would be a yeah, you know, the, the uh, uh, um, mother's uncle, we have a name for that too. No, mother's brother. It has a specific word. And the same, my brother-in-law would be father's brother. Um, so <laughs> it's, it's so confusing for me to just say auntie and uncle. But yeah, my mom's sister got us that last year and it's beautiful. I was very excited. You know, I, I wanted to see how it looked this year because I read somewhere that the color depends on the soil. So I was kind of like, will it be pink? I hope it'll be pink. And it was. So, yay. So, yeah, it's so funny. This color 3371, the very dark brown one. The drills, so many of them are stuck together. It isn't an issue because I know how to to unstuck them. But I'm just like, that is crazy. I mean, I have had to, I have this little, this little pill bottle and I have a, a coin in it and I just put them in and I shake them. Um, usually that's, that is what it's, what it's taking, you know, what it takes to get them unstuck. But, um, yeah, it is a little annoying. So, but, you know, it's just, it doesn't take long 
you feel need to do it. It's just, there are so many. I mean, I'm actually kind of surprised at how many of these thrills that are stuck. Um, so yeah, that was Thursday. Friday, I almost slept the entire day. I was so tired. Not because my birthday was busy, 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 but because, you know, I'm, I'm tired out easily. So I had been on my feet a lot. I've been out shopping. I've been baking, making that dough twice. And then my knitting club was here. Oh, I don't know. How long were they here? Until a quarter to 11 p.m. And then I have made a pop-up live at a quarter to midnight, my time. Kind of like, pop-up, come celebrate my birthday live, you know. And it was so much fun. We weren't a whole lot of people. But it was, it was so, you know, I really, really appreciated those that did show up. And, um... Can you see this one has a little nipply point thing on it I don't have a whole lot of trash but the ones that I do have is because of that extra nipply things on them I do hope that I won't have that much trash in this one because my two first diamond art clubs and the enablers outpost one had a bunch of um trash drills so yeah we we i had my live and then at midnight uh my time it was david's and i's 16th anniversary so i was like yay no more no longer my birthday but now we have our 16th anniversary and people were inquiring as to how david and i met and, um, yeah, I, I told them and I told them how we started dating. And it's so funny. We have been together. Well, what date is it today? Hang on. What date? It is actually today, the 19th of September. We have been together 20 years. That sounds crazy, doesn't it? We've been together 20 years. And... Every time I tell that story about how we ended up, you know, being together, I get butterflies in my stomach. I can just feel them, you know. So, um, yeah, that would have to mean that everything is right. So, I mean, I just get butterflies thinking about it. <laughs> I love him to pieces. To the moon and back. Well, the moon isn't really that far away. I love him to the end of the Delta Quadrant and back again. And um, if you got that one, you're a nerd. Just like we are. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, Friday, yeah, was our wedding anniversary. We didn't do a whole lot again. We don't do that. We're not big celebrators. We... We both have that, you know, why Why would we want to celebrate on that specific one day of the year? We kind of, we're the kind of people who celebrate love the entire year. So we don't go out to dinner. Well, David works on Fridays anyway. We don't go out to dinner. We don't buy big presents. Um... We, we just spent the day together, and I will shake this when I'm done filming. Um, <clears throat> you know, and I was tired, so anywho, we wouldn't be able to do a whole lot. And I, I had to, to, to tell people that I wouldn't be doing one of my unboxings because I basically slept a lot of the day away, and... I wasn't sure that I'd be able to film without more or less full asleep while filming. 
and you guys were so kind. Also, I in that little, I don't know, it, it wasn't a short, short video. It was, but it was a short one. Um, I said that I probably wouldn't be doing my fairy tale either because Saturday we were out of town. We went to visit David's sister, my sister-in-law. She had invited us over to her teeny tiny village that is even smaller than the one we live in for a for cake and cocoa and you know to just spend time together so we headed out you know when we were up and had fed the kitten the kitties and everything so we decided to bring some of the stuff that she couldn't have in her car when they emptied out their mom's car so she basically just have a plant left over here um yeah it's a blueberry bush and it was too big to be in the car with everything else but we had a great day we went it's so funny the village is so much smaller than ours but they have this shop you know with I don't know, they have knitted stuff, they have everything that people make, and then the owner is making beer himself. So they sell beer as well, and they sell gin, and yeah. It's a cute little little store, and um, they have a cafe on top of the, well, on the top level of the store, so that is where we were sitting, having cake, and I had a latte macchiato, David had a cocoa, and my sister-in-law had some, some kind of coffee. I think it was um, half and half, I'm not sure what it's called, half coffee, half milk. And we just sat there talking a lot. We We did end up talking about their brother, my brother-in-law, you know, the the way he's behaving in general and yeah. It's it's the whole thing. I mean, he's we we've my sister-in-law works with people who have you know, it's not mental problem, but it's kind of like psychic um, people who have issues with, you know, psychological disease. So she sees some, some things in him, like her um, residence where she's working also has, and it does explain a lot. I also said many, many, many times to David that something is off, you know. Something is just off. And all of a sudden it, it did make a whole lot of sense with what she thinks is wrong. Um, I, I still don't like him and I'm never gonna. Well, at least not for the foreseeable future. Um, but it, it did make sense and I I know that I can't change the, the way he is, but I can, you know, put down some ground rules for me as to how I wanna, you know, what, what relations I wanna have, which is so much easier now that I know I can't make him change. And then she has a one of her friends living with her. Well, he has been living there for a, for a while. He is, he's writing some books, and one of them actually ended up on the Amazon top buying list. Um, yeah. <laughs> he's the most kind person that I have ever met, I think. He's just very, very kind, and he's he's intelligent, and he knows a lot. 
So it's just, you know, it's, it's great having conversations with someone who, who has an interest in, in a lot of stuff, you know. It isn't just meaningless conversation. And um, he has a great humor. It's so funny because, you know, um, he and David talked a lot. He used to be best friends with the David's brother. So he had a lot of insights as well. Um, so they were talking a lot. And I was, you know, in the kitchen talking with my sister-in-law while dinner was being made. Um, so yeah, and then when when dinner was ready, the guys came out into the kitchen and apparently they have been talking about this documentary that was done by, oh my God, Hawking's something, where he is filming this documentary about flat earthers. And they, they were, you know, kind of making a little fun of it. Um, by, by, you know, buying into their narratives. And I'm so sorry if you believe in Flat Earth. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Um, I, I don't want to take every, anything away from you, but I just don't believe in Flat Earth. And if you do, good for you. Um, but we were kind of like, you know, a little like, so how... How is that possible, you know? And they were like, well, there's no gravity either. <laughs> we were like, oh. <clears throat> so that's how the water isn't, you know, flowing over the the edges of, of the flat earth. Because I was, I was kind of like, so if the earth is flat, how come the water don't flow over the edges? And how come we keep having that much water in the oceans? And they were like, well, there's this ice cap all around, which I've heard before, by the way. Um, and you can't come out there because, and blah, blah, blah. And they were kind of like, yeah, I've seen that documentary. It's basically what, what they said in there, too. So, yeah. <laughs> but we were kind of like having a little fun with it. And uh, David and he were like trying to be flat earthers and yeah, well, let's just say that it was hard eating because we were laughing so much. And my my sister-in-law and him, they have this amazing relationship. And, and they were bickering like an old married couple just for the heck of it. And, and they were laughing themselves so hard. And I can't remember what what the friend was saying, but my sister-in-law had just taken a sip of her water and she was doing her best not to spit it all over the place from laughter. And the rest of us was just laughing because you could, you could see how hard she was trying. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was a great day. I was so tired when we came home. Um... But I had to to come in here and you know get my my life set up. So yeah. So we went to bed and that's it. Sunday we Sunday, Sunday. I had some laundry to do. David was outside painting before the weather would be bad yesterday. Um, and then when it was time for my life, I have no idea. Well, I do now, but at that time, the sound wouldn't work. I couldn't get the sound to work, so it ended up me having to do the live on my tablet, which was kind of weird for me. I think it, everyone else was fine, but it was kind of weird. Um... I have since then, I think, figured out what was going on. Apparently, my my microphone had a, I don't know, a, um, 
an update or something so it had muted all the sound so i had to turn the, the sound up again i haven't tried you know being live or anything with it i need to try that with david so i'm sure it works again but um apparently that was the issue i think i think i was trying you know to figure out what was happening and i was on my computer and it was kind of like there is no connection to the microphone and i just didn't get it so i basically you know turned all the buttons on the microphone and on my computer and then i tried you know turning up the the sound on the microphone and all of a sudden you can do this kind of a test on the computer to see how the sound is and all of a sudden the the cursor moved and i was like huh that was the issue maybe hmm why because i haven't changed anything since my birthday life which I don't know. I mean, that was just a few days prior, so I don't get it. I don't get it. But hopefully, hopefully, that was the issue. Because then, then it would be ready for my next live. Hopefully. Stop it. I don't know. It's a rather new glue dot. But... When I try to dirty it up, it isn't really sticky. But I know that the canvas is sticky. So it shouldn't be hanging to the to the pen. So yeah, Sunday, even though we had sound issues, Sunday was fun. I had a few new people in, both Danish. Um, I had a, a lady who lived in Canada who also has Clibble Fail Syndrome like me. And that was so cool. I mean, I do know a few Danish people who has Clibble Fail Syndrome, but I love meeting new people just, you know, to get some experience from each other and yeah. Um, and then the other girl was the diamond painter. So that is kind of cool, having met some new people. So yeah, we talked for about two hours and then, you know, everybody left and I... What was I doing? I think I was diamond painting and... We stayed up way too late <laughs> again. And then yesterday, you know, we talked about yesterday, Rosa Day and David having his accident. And that takes us to today. Um, I think I have a meeting later. Um, I hope I'm okay enough to, to go. Well, I want to go. I haven't... It's in this owner's association that I'm a part of. I haven't been at any meetings for quite a while because of all this uh, medication thing. So I really do want to go tonight. I just need to get my behind together and go and then let them see me, you know, as I am right now with... I don't know, I'm, it's not really withdrawal, it's just, you know, it, 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 well, I don't know. I have never had a hangover, so I don't know if that what a, if that's what a hangover feels like. You know, being so tired that you can't barely get anything done. Um, I don't know. And then the tiredness, I am so tired. And I have begun to having, you know, restless arms and legs. 
not just you know at at night it is worse when when i go to bed then because i'm relaxing of course it's gonna be worse but even through the day i have you know issues with the restlessness and i just wanna i don't know i wanna soar off my arms and legs yesterday my legs were so bad I, I was kind of like, I can't go to bed with this because I'm going to lay here trying to get rid of it and, and keep David awake. Thank God by the time we were ready to, well, David was ready to go to bed. Um, it had diminished to a point where I was like, okay, I think I might be able to to sleep soon. I wasn't sure, but I was like, okay, if this doesn't work, I I can get up again because I don't want to, you know, keep keep him awake because my legs are, I don't know, trying to kill me from the inside. It's such a, it's such a, a weird experience because it isn't like you have a sleeping leg. It's kind of like in the bones, in, in the muscles that it's kind of jittering it feels like having ants or i don't know and it hurts at the same time and it's just uncomfortable i can't um i don't know if you have this restlessness in your if you've ever had restless like syndrome i think it's called uh, so i need to call the the pain clinic last time i was up there 10 years ago I got some medicine for that specifically because I was having restless legs and arms before, you know, getting on medication. And it, I kind of think that it might be because of them, you know, getting out of methadone because I can't remember if it got better because I was getting the methadone you know, getting into it, or if it was that specific medicine that did the trick. I can't remember. It's 10 years ago. Maybe it was both. So I want to, you know, talk with my, with my nurse up there. She's the one who's, she's the one who has, I has the contact with. And then she will talk to the doctor if I need anything, medic, medicine or something. And she will be like, um, you need to come and see the doctor. We have another one. Can you see that? It has this weird thing on it. Actually, it has it in both ends. See? Thing and thing. And it isn't something you can just... Oh, that one was loose. That's good. I wonder what that was. Maybe I need to take a look at the other drill I pour down. If that one was a loose thing as well. No, this one is brown, kind of like the drill. The other one was white. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I think I need to to call her maybe tomorrow and say, um... <laughs> We need to do something because I can't sleep when my legs is jittering and pain and yeah. I was kind of hoping, you know, that I didn't have to go see a doc, go see my doctor or anything before I was done weaning out of my methadone. But I'm, I might have to, even though it annoys me because then I would have to go again. And it is an hour away, so I might just bite the dust and wait until I'm out of it. Because that it would just be so much easier if I just have to go once. Yeah. And hopefully I can get a 
a time so that David can come, so that he can drive and I can just, you know, be the passenger and even though it's still hard on me just to be the passenger, it's it's easier than if I also have to to drive. And hopefully the next appointment with the doctor will be a little longer than the last time, which was a total waste of time. I mean, like, it takes almost an hour to drive up there. And then we had a, I don't know, eight-minute conversation with the doctor and two minutes with the nurse, and then bye-bye. So that was a waste of time, at least in my world. I mean, why do I have to go up there for ten minutes? Couldn't we have done that over the phone or over Zoom or something? That would have been a heck of a lot easier. But, you know, I know they probably have rules or... I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of like, I don't... I don't particularly like going to the doctor. This one is important, so I go. But my own practitioner, I only went there so often because I had to to get my methadone. Because it's a morphine, I had to to show up at the clinic every 50 days to get a new prescription. So I had to go, you know. But yeah. Now I don't get any prescription, you know, like morphine product anymore. So hopefully I can just order it, everything on the app. I don't know. They want to try this, this medicine that they used for, sorry. Oh, the yawning again that they are using for people with fibromyalgia. So um, it's called low dosage something LDN. They call it over here. I don't know if they do that in the U.S. as well. But yeah, they will try that when I'm all done with my methadone. So we have to see. We have to see. I mean, at least... I need something because my pain has absolutely gotten worse. So some effect, it had some effect, I would have to say. But yeah. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out when to remove the last half. It has been a little over a week since I removed the second to last half, so I will have to wait a little long. Well, I don't have to. But for my own sake, can you see my hair every now and then? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope eventually you'll get used to the yawning because apparently it's going to stick. So, yeah. <laughs> but we'll see. What the, what the doctor wants to do once I'm done with this. I think I might wait just a few more weeks to take away the, the last half. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. I think I'll have to see how I'm doing. And also if I... Sorry again. If I have a chat with my with my nurse, maybe I could ask her if it could be, you know, remove it one day, take it the next day, remove it one day, take it the next day, and then don't take it for two days, and then one, and not take it for two days, and then, you know, and then when I'm up to, I don't know, four or five days in between, just stop altogether. I don't know if that's... A good idea of it, if it'll be better to just plain stop. I don't know. Oh, sorry again. I haven't done this before, so I'm not sure what to do. 
So, um, yeah, I have to talk to her. Ugh, the weather is horrible today. It's just pouring. It did the same yesterday, but we did get some sun at the, after at the afternoon. But I really, really don't like rain. Especially if I have to leave the house later. Maybe I can just hope for dry weather later. We did get some sun out, you know, in the afternoon yesterday. But it rained when Rosa and I had to go to gymnastics, which was kind of a bummer because I had promised Rosa that we would leave early and then she could play at the playground a little before gymnastics. But with the rain, that wasn't doable. So, yeah. Oh my god. It's just getting worse and worse here. Um, but yeah. I do hope that next week will be better so she can so she can go to the playground before. She was a little disappointed yesterday, but she did understand that, you know, look at the weather outside. So yeah. I love it that she loves the gymnastics. I asked her again yesterday, so do you want to stay here and do the gymnastics for the rest of the year? And she was like, yes, this is fun. Good, we're staying. I was kind of worried about the, the amount of kits because they are about 30, which is a whole lot of kits compared to the old company. But it's okay. It's okay. I don't know. She's still a little... What happened to that drill? What happened to it? I have a running... There it was. It's funny. Some of them is kind of not getting all the way down, even though I'm... Um... Oh, sorry. I press down pretty hard. It's kind of like some of them isn't going all the way down. They're not popping per se because they're just when I when I you know put my hand on it, it just pops down again. It's kind of like it hasn't been placed the right way. So it's kind of easy to get them down again. Yeah. Other than that, I'm not really sure I have a, a, whole, a whole lot to say. But I guess we are around one hour now. Yeah, almost 58 minutes. Oh, by the way, I would love to know how you like that intro and outro music. So please write that down in the comment section. Do you like it or is it horrible? I really like it, but um, if you hate it, I would find something else. It just felt fun to me. So please let me know down in the comment section how you like it. And don't forget to tell me how you're doing and what you've been working on while I've been chatting away. And also... Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. So good. It it's helping my channel. It is, you know, helping all the YouTube algorithms. So it would mean a whole lot if you would give a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I would love to get you know to have you in my community here. And um yeah. That is about it, I think. So I will see you all in my next video. That will be an unboxing on Friday if everything goes well. And um, yeah, until next time. Bye, my friends. Bye. Love you.